One of the most desirable areas in Kansas City to live is the Country Club District. It's also the largest master plan community ever developed by one developer. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the map and I'm going to dissect the Country Club District, show you all the nooks and crannies, everything that you need to know about living in the Country Club District. And we're getting after it right now. Now we've done some vlog videos and several other videos on a lot of the neighborhoods and communities within the Country Club District already because this is where my family and I live. A lot of people who have been to Kansas City know about the Country Club Plaza, which is one of the staples in Kansas City to go to for shopping, dining, and entertainment. The community surrounding the plaza is what makes up the rest of the Country Club District and is filled with winding roads, huge mature trees, parks, lots of walkability, and many many historic homes and when we moved back from denver a couple of years ago it was the place that we wanted to live so we ended up finding a house in the brookside neighborhood so what i want to do is pop open the map and dissect the entire area so you know exactly what it's like to live in the country club district all right so we have our map of Kansas city up here and i'm just going to zoom in on the plaza area which is south of downtown so here you have I-35, which is going to take you down into Johnson County, get you into Shawnee, Overland Park, Lenexa, and Olathe. And then we have our 435 loop, which is going to take you all the way around the metro. And right at the heart of that is going to be the plaza. So this is the Country Club Plaza, which if you've never been to Kansas City, this is certainly a top destination to go if you're ever visiting it is an amazing place to be uh just a lot of cool architecture i mean there's a guy actually taking a picture right here in the middle of the street huh that was funny hold on let's see if we can see him again oh it's a different person there he is check that guy out he's taking a picture of michael kors or the fountain or something we are the city of fountains so uh, a lot of cool fountains down here a lot of cool architecture it was actually replicated after civil civil spain uh, i'm going to show you this really cool fountain over here so this is where all the happenings be and also all the construction be right now as you can see here this fountain is iconic in kansas city emmanuel cleaver and warnell so warnell is going to take you you know straight shot down south into brookside waldo uh, south Kansas city neighborhoods and 71 highway is going to be really your outlet if you're going to live over here to get up north into the northland um, and you can also get south to 435 470 down to lee summit um, and out to blue springs so those are going to be your main highways but I really wanted to take you around and show you some of the neighborhoods around here in the Country Club District because it is massive. Again, it is the largest master plan community ever developed by one developer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work our way west and then south and then back up to the plaza area so I can show you all of these neighborhoods and cities that make up the Country Club District starting with the West Plaza. So West Plaza is an awesome neighborhood. You're going to have Bay Boys uh, sandwiches here, which they have some of the best sandwiches in Kansas City. So certainly go check them out if you're in the neighborhood. This is actually where our brokerage is as well as in the West Plaza. But this is going to be your most walkable in relation to the Country Club Plaza. A lot of the homes are going to be, um, you know, shotgun bungalows. Uh, they're also doing a lot of new construction in this neighborhood as well. So you can see it. I mean, it's it's about what 20 city blocks, uh, but there are a lot of houses crammed in here. I mean, if we go and take a look at the street view, you know, you can see a lot of them are close together. Huge trees. I mean, this is a great thing about Kansas City in this historic neighborhood is you just have these massive mature trees and it it's really interesting living in the city and having this 
because it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You get to, you know, be one with nature, uh, but still close to everything, which is my favorite part about living in Brookside because it's super similar to this big mature trees because these neighborhoods are over 100 years old. But again, you can see, you know, a lot of um, you know, smaller homes here, closer together. Um, some have, you know, one, you know, one lane driveways, um, you know, others don't. And so you're going to see a lot of cars parked on the street. And then you're also going to see um, some new construction here. So as we move down this way, you can actually see uh, here are a few examples of the scrapes that are being built. And actually, there's one on the market right now. So this house, I've actually toured it. It is a beautiful home. It's listed for $1.15 million. It is three bed, four bath, and about 3,000 square feet. So it's you know a great property. There are only 10 listings currently in the West Plaza, and they range from 145, which this is a, an apartment or condo. Uh, 259 is your cheapest single family home. You know, you can kind of see what that looks like. 375, this one, you know, looks like it's been updated. But, you know, here in this first picture, you can see there's a new high-rise condo going up right next to it. So that's what you're going to get in the West Plaza neighborhood. You know, you can have single-family homes, but it is very much city living in the West Plaza neighborhood. Um, and again, you know, you're also going to have some more condos and apartments sprinkled in there. But, you know, this is your price range, really, you know, anywhere from 200, 300,000 for a single family home up to 1 million plus in the West Plaza. So next up, we're going to go just a little bit to the west and we're actually going to cross state line into Westwood. Now, we did a vlog of Westwood. It's one of my favorite little communities. But again, you can see this isn't a very big area. Joe's Kansas City is out here, the original Joe's. Uh, you know, great barbecue, Z-Man sandwich is the bomb. Um, you know, but you're going to get Woodside, uh, you know, fitness center here where they have an amazing outdoor pool in the summer. Um, your price points here, you know, right now there's only one home on the market in Westwood. So that's going to be the hard part about Westwood. Last year, only 500 homes sold in all of Westwood, and there's only one on the market. It's this property here. Again, I've toured this one. It's beautiful, but it's a you know complete new build, um, five bed, five bath, 4,000 square feet. Now you can find deals in Westwood if you're willing to wait. We have a good friend that lives in there and they found an amazing deal on a home in Westwood. They're in the middle of renovating it. So you can find properties in there. They're just few and far between. But this is why you reach out to us because you know we know the intricacies of all of these different neighborhoods within the Country Club District so we can help you, you know, make that right choice. Next up, we're going to go down to Fairway. This is Ward Parkway, which branches off here and goes straight south on the Missouri side of state line. But then it forks off here to 169, which turns into Shawnee Mission Parkway. So Shawnee Mission Parkway will lead you out west into Shawnee, Merriam, um, Lenexa. So, you know, that's this is a actually a beautiful drive as well as Ward Parkway. I mean, these are two of my favorite you know, favorite uh, streets to drive on in Kansas City because you have beautiful homes, beautiful trees. It's just amazing. And then right here, you're going to have uh, two of the main country clubs in Kansas City, Mission Hills Country Club, Kansas City Country Club, which, you know, if you live in the country club district, this is a perk, right? You get access to not only these two, but Indian Hills Country Club as well, which is down here in the Prairie Village, Mission Hills area. Fairway, again, another small suburb here in Johnson County. You know, there are four homes currently active on the market in Fairway, the least expensive being 709000 This one had a recent price cut of $20,000. As you can see, it's a little dated, but because there's not a lot of inventory in Fairway, um, you know, you, you pay a higher price point for, you know, low inventory markets. This one is an older home built in 1995, but three bed, five bath, 4,600 square feet listed just over $1 million. So again, your price point in here is probably going to be on the six, seven hundreds over a million dollars is what you're going to get here in Fairway, but you can hop right on Shawnee Mission Parkway 
get over to the plaza within minutes and it is another great spot to be in the country club district moving on we are going to go just a little bit further south of here into mission hills mission hills is where these three country clubs are uh, and that's pretty much all there is within mission hills are houses and three country clubs there are really no businesses or anything like that you're going to have to go over into prairie village or across state line you know to get access to your walmarts your targets your shopping your restaurants that sort of thing and these homes again there are currently only five active listings in mission hills and this is one of them so this three million dollar home that is six bedrooms nine baths over ten thousand square feet this thing is phenomenal i mean come on could you imagine living in the i love the checkered floors the complete study library down here you have a full atrium complete with you know lion statues a full-size chessboard i don't know if you're into harry potter but you can recreate some pretty cool scenes out here i'm sure you got a couple of drafts in the yard as well um you know this thing is straight up crazy and then you have you know a few other homes in here uh just over a million again this one you know you're seeing a lot of this take place in like mission hills prairie village leewood you know all of these top suburbs in kansas they're coming in and buying these homes completely remodeling them and then relisting them for over a million dollars so if that's something you're looking for we help a lot of clients in these areas but the price point is on the higher end so first time home buyers you know people who are looking for a more affordable market mission hills probably just isn't going to be it all right so as we move further south we are going to be in Prairie Village. So Prairie Village is, you know, a lot bigger than Fairway, Mission Hills, Westwood. It's actually about, it's probably about as big as all three of those combined. There are about 23,000 people who live in Prairie Village. And as you can see here, Row Avenue is going to be really the main artery that goes through the center of Prairie Village. And then over here, this is going to be Mission Road which it actually borders Mission Hills up here and then Leewood on the southern side. Prairie Village was named the top suburb and place to live by Zillow in 2022. And it is just going crazy in here. Again, you're going to find a lot of homes that have been scraped and you know mixed in with you know some historic homes. So you have a lot of these like Cape Cod style ranches, um, I mean, that is the majority of these older homes that you'll see in these neighborhood. But again, you can see, I mean, these trees are just massive and amazing. Uh, one of the things that I love about the Country Club District and all of these neighborhoods is just the winding roads. So, you know, if you kind of zoom out, you can see there's no grid. It's all, you know, these winding roads and, you know, it really makes it a unique place to be and driving through it. You don't really feel like you're in the city or the suburb. Um, you know, it's just a really cool uh, layout of the, the way they built these communities and why it's such a desirable place to live. And then you're going to have here uh, your shops at Prairie Village. So this is your main shopping area. And then you can see here over on the other side, you have all of these single family homes. Now, currently there are 32 active listings in Prairie Village and you know, you can find some deals still you know, a lot of stuff that you're going to find in the $300,000 range is going to need some work or it's going to be, you know, a lot smaller square footage and bedrooms. This one's actually been updated. So, you know, but it's a small bungalow, uh, three bed, two bath, 1600 square feet, you know, so good starter home. If you're looking to move to Prairie Village, you can find homes in the 300s. You can even find some in the 200,000s. But as you can see, over half of these listings currently in Prairie Village are over $1 million. So, you know, it being the most desirable, you know, neighborhood in Kansas City, prices just went way up. Zillow naming Prairie Village the top place to live in 2022 did the people wanting to live in Prairie Village no favors. Actually, this home, I haven't got a tour of this home, but 
this is a mid-century uh, home that I would absolutely love to live in. 750,000, one bed, two bath, 1,500 square feet, but holy cow, this thing is beautiful. So, you know, there's some really cool homes in Prairie Village. There are, you know, a lot of newer homes, scrapes, like this one's under construction right now. So, you know, that's what you're going to find here in Prairie Village. We've done quite a few videos on Prairie Village, a pros and cons video and a vlog. So go check those out if you want to see, you know, more of the ins and outs of Prairie Village. All right. So last up here on the Kansas side for the Country Club District, we are going to have Leewood. So Leewood, again, is pretty massive, and it spans all the way down south of 435. So we're not really going to focus on that because that is not the Country Club District. Uh, really, this is old Leewood, and this is what's going to be considered still part of the Country Club District. Leewood Hills, you know, uh, Leewood Lanes, Leewood Heritage, Stonebridge, Leewood Hills West. These neighborhoods are really the historic areas in Leewood. Now, again, Leewood is going to be, you know, higher price point. Uh, 900,000 is the least expensive. Well, it looks like there's one up here for 520. So let's see what that gets us. All right. So this home listed for 520, you know, it needs some updating, but it's not bad. Uh, three bed, two bath, about 1700 square feet. Um, so you know, more than likely this will get bought by a developer, you know, or a, a flipper if that doesn't go. I mean, how long has this thing been on the market for? Uh, it's only been on the market for five days. So, you know, lots of interest in this, uh, you know, 1400 views, 97 saves. This one's probably going to go fast because as you can see, you know, everything else in this part of Leewood is a million plus with the exception of this $900,000 home, home here. Um, which I've actually toured this one. This one's a great home. Uh, I really liked it. And then I also toured this one the other day, which has a pool um, and, you know, just a lot of really beautiful finishes. Uh, five bed, five bath, 5,200 square feet. You know, and again, this is going to be further away from the plaza. I mean, you're probably going to be about a 10 to 15 minute drive to get to the plaza but you're not really into like Overland Park, you know, um, where things are super spread out. You are going to get a bigger lot down here and you're going to be part of the Blue Valley School District and the Shawnee Mission School District in Leewood and Prairie Village. So, you know, again, those are top rated school districts according to niche.com. Again, not trying to steer anybody in any way, but these communities here, you know, they have great public schools and uh, less affordability. I mean, that's just part of living on the Kansas side in these neighborhoods. All of these are getting, you know, super developed and, um, you know, a lot of money and investors coming in there and remodeling these homes. I mean, you can't find a, very much inventory here in Leewood for under a million dollars currently. Now, right here, you're going to have the Ward Parkway Center. So let's go back to our map here. All right, so this is Ward Parkway Center where you're going to have your Trader Joe's, your Target. Uh, it's like a little shopping center where they have, you know, it's, it's kind of like a hybrid mall almost. So you have your Target over here. There's a Chick-fil-A. And then on the other side, you're going to have your Trader Joe's uh, and an AMC. So you got those in this shopping area here. You know, Ulta, TJ Maxx, there is a Torchy's Tacos on the other side, uh, PetSmart, you know, and then inside the mall, there are, you know, retail shops, clothing stores, you know, shoe stores, stuff like that. And then over here is Ward Parkway, and that brings us to our Missouri segment. All right, so pop back out here. On the Missouri side, you know, these are all going to be neighborhoods in the Country Club District because this is all Kansas City, Missouri. So it doesn't matter where you live in this part of the Country Club District, you are part of Kansas City, Missouri and Jackson County. Now, what you're going to find on the other side of state line is you are going to find more affordability. All of these suburbs on the Kansas side are part of Johnson County, which is 
the fastest growing county in the state of Kansas. Overland Park is the second largest city in the state of Kansas. And Johnson County houses six of the top 10 public school districts in the entire state of Kansas. So you're, again, you're gonna pay a higher price point to be in Johnson County. And then on top of that, to be close to the plaza, all of those really add up to a higher price point for you know these areas that we just went through now on the opposite side of state line you know the first community we're going to talk about is waldo and really this is going to be from gregory south to about 89th this is one of my favorite places in kansas city molly and i we did a, a vlog in waldo it kind of reminds me of like portlandia it's just a great area you are going to find a lot of bungalow craftsmen um, you know, some cool historic homes in here as well. So yeah, I mean, you can see, again, this is very much city living, no sidewalks on this street, uh, smaller houses, but these are great homes. Um, this is, you know, if you're looking to get in to the country club district, you're a first time home buyer, you know, this is your starter home. Waldo is the place where a lot of people start out living in this area just because you are going to have smaller you know lots less beds less bathrooms but with that you're going to get more affordability all right so here in waldo you know we can we can see we have 18 active listings uh the lowest priced home here is seventy five thousand. huh i wonder if this is just a lot yeah it looks like that this is a lot for a new build so uh, 75,000, you can get you a lot in Waldo. Uh, this one's 225,000, so three bed, one bath, little bungalow. Great little starter home. So, you know, again, that's really what you're gonna find now. You, you can find like, you know, properties like this as well. This one's three bed, three bath, you know, about 1,800 square feet, beautiful four square home uh, right here in Waldo. So. You know, this is uh, this is what you get here. This one was built in 1933. You know, again, historic homes. Um, and then down here in the heart of Waldo is where you're going to find all of your shopping, your restaurants, uh, Waldo Pizza. Uh, again, we did a full vlog, you know, on this area. So definitely go check that out. Um, but a lot of walkability. This is also where the trolley trail starts. So you have your trolley trail here that runs down. Uh, along Warnell and then bridges over here to Brookside Boulevard all the way down to the plaza area and then this space right in here is going to be Brookside so this is where I live this is you know one of the most popular neighborhoods to live in in Kansas City and uh, the main reason is because you get that walkability you get that close proximity to the plaza you know and you get bigger homes here than you do in Waldo so um, you know, if we go down here to the downtown area, uh, you know, this is going to be where all of the action takes place. So we just had our St. Patrick's Day parade, which goes right through here. Uh, you have two grocery stores, a lot of restaurants and shopping, you know, so this is just, you know, a great spot to be. And there's a guy going on a run. You always see people running across here. Um, you know, because this is actually where the trolley trail like ends for two blocks. Um, so you got to run through this parking lot and then across the street through this parking lot. And then that takes you over to the trolley trail over here and you kind of pick back up on it. So, um, you can see you got like some e-bikes over here and then down this way you have the roastery and then all surrounding here, you have single family homes and huge trees beautiful homes beautiful architecture um you know this is a great spot to you know to be whether you were raising a family you know you're uh you're looking to just be closer to the city but you know you don't want to live in a condo there are just a lot of great communities within the brookside area so let's take a look at current active listings in brookside we have 16 the lowest price is going to be 120 that's a condo in that blue building um, but you can find, you know, quite a few homes still in the three, four hundred thousand dollar range. Uh, this one's listed for three sixty, and you know, again, this is just a great little craftsman home here in Brookside. Actually, has a two car garage, which is pretty good for, you know, three sixty, four bed, two bath, fifteen hundred square feet. 
Uh, this one's 425. You know, again, needs a little bit of work. You know, outdated kitchen, but uh, you know, a lot of these homes they're going to either need some work like this one needs uh you know a, a bathroom remodel um, and probably an updated kitchen this is a great way to get in the brookside neighborhood and build some immediate equity if you are a diyer um, you know you want to get that sweat equity this would be a great property to do that because it is right on central uh, you know just a great location here in brookside you're within minutes of downtown brookside and right off the trolley trail. All right, so our last Missouri neighborhood that we are going to look at is South Plaza here in the Country Club District. Um, now, I believe South Plaza actually comes down here to 55th Street, so that's what we're gonna look at when we look at the real estate. Um, but you also have Loose Park over here, and Loose Park is this 75-acre park with a rose garden, uh, you know, a lot of weddings take place here and they have a little pond and, uh, you know, you, it's just a great spot to go. You know, cherry blossoms are getting ready to bloom. Uh, it's, you know, springtime. First day of spring was the other day. So this is a great park. You know, it, it has a loop all the way around it. Uh, you know, so you'll always see people running, walking, biking, jogging, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Pembroke Hill High School is right up here. It's the most prestigious private high school in Kansas City. Um, and the homes that you're going to find in here, higher price for a lot of them, but you can still find some affordability as well. So this one, it's actually been on the market for a while, um, but it's listed for 665000 Again, this would be a great property i'm surprised that somebody hasn't scooped this up yet because it's big i mean five bed four bath 3300 square feet you know for 665 in the south plaza neighborhood is a good deal so um, you can still find some homes and then you're going to find you know some condos so this is a one million dollar condo uh you know if that's what you're looking for condo style living and then you have these massive estates as well so 1.65 million dollars in this home you know again built in 1918 beautiful right across the street from loose park doesn't get any better than that you can walk down to the plaza super easy you know you're located right here in the heart of kansas city Phew. that one wore me out y'all i mean dang it's it is a massive master plan community there's no wonder why it is one of the most sought after places to live here in Kansas City. It's the main reason that we moved to Brookside. And this is what we do every single day. We're licensed in Kansas and Missouri. So if you're considering relocating to Kansas City and the Country Club District is on your list of places that you're interested in living in, then shoot us a call, a text, an email, day or night. We would love to assist you in making that smooth move to Kansas City. What we do is pop open the map on a Zoom call and do exactly what we just did here. We really dissect these neighborhoods and these different cities and parts of town with you. And so schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation with us so we can help you make that smooth move to Kansas City. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the Country Club District. Until next time.